is a way to make the most out of your workouts. Hey Sharks, my name is Kalei Griffin II. I am the CEO and founder of Shredskins. Today I'm seeking $60,000 for 20% equity of my company. Now Sharks, there are usually two ways to feel instant satisfaction after a great workout. One, you push yourself to the limit where you're so sore the next morning, it just feels so good. And two, being covered head to toe in your own sweat. But with the current sauna suits on the market today, if you don't clean and dry them properly, you might irritate your skin really bad. Mark, you gotta know what I'm talking about. I know exactly, I sweat when I think about it. Right, <laughs> I mean the only other option is using a trash bag. Who wants to use a trash bag? Ew, let's save that for the trash. And use Shredskins, the first and only single-use sauna suit on the market today. At Shredskins, we use an eco-friendly plastic to conveniently show you your massive sweat progress. With our unique design, we have elastic around the waist and the wrist, and on top of that, a drawstring on the hood. This allows you to trap heat, minimize your time warming up, and maximize your time actually working out. And it just makes you sweat faster. So I hope you make a deal with me quickly. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. Ah! Oh <laughs> That's all real sweat. Don't believe me? Check this out. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh, I'm singing my song. Wait, that's a joke, right? <laughs> Not a joke. That is all real sweat. But see, that may be their favorite part about shred skins, but let me show you my favorite part about shred skins. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, show them how to really do it. <laughs> now, sharks, I know what you're thinking when you hear single use, but we use an oxo-degradable plastic, soon a newly developed resin, to help break that plastic down even faster as we strive to be as eco-conscious as possible. This way, you can feel just as good about using shred skins as you do wearing shred skins during a workout. So sharks, which one of you wants to shed fast, easy sweat and shred fast, easy money with shred skins? You guys all have samples in front of you. Check those out while I put all my right. shirt on. Great job. Yeah. I feel like your barber's man. not here. Explain to me the target market, okay? And, and is it just to lose weight? The ironic part is shred skins actually does target women because women carry a ton of water weight. But also, my biggest market is athletes and fighters. Fighters need uh. this, one, to make weight all the time. This isn't something that I created that didn't exist before. What didn't exist is the convenience of it. So it allows you to, again, minimize your warm-ups so you can heat up that core temperature in your body and actually get to your workouts. And then, some people love the sweat. Some people love the idea of looking at their sweat while they're working out. There's also, if you need to be ripped for whatever reason, I'm gonna be a little bit more doughy if I don't sweat, and I'm a lot more ripped if I right. do sweat. So what, that's what how, you're that's saying what is do. it's all water weight. Yes, exactly. Like, so if I need to fit into something, I can't, right. I'm a little, I'm a just, little just fluffy, to, I can just put this on and it might fit me better? Maybe, so just to be clear, right? I, I never promote this is a, a get skinny right. fit fast product, ever. The goal is to, yes, give you that safety net where if you do need to make a certain weight or you wanna go on those jogs and those runs because you know you have to fit into your wedding dress or you know you have to make that weight cut for your fight, you know you have an option to do so and it's convenient. I love the fact that you're not overselling and that you're underselling. This is a great gift for an entrepreneur that has self-confidence that, that you said you don't, you're not trying to make silly weight loss claims. Right. I really love what you said. Is there enough of an established market that knows the merits of this, or do you have to educate people to wear these? I believe that in my market, everyone loves this product because it's convenient. But it's mm -hmm. a subset of people who work out to put on a plastic bag on themselves. So how do I find them? How, how are you finding yeah. them? I blew up on TikTok. One of my biggest videos is 17, uh, 16 million, um, and we average about a, a million a week on wow. TikTok because the what does that translate sweat into in sales? A million a week on TikTok gets you what? Sure. So when I first started, uh, October 2020, um, I did $15,000 in sales. In those two months, I was like, I'm ready for Shark Tank. Yes, 15K. <laughs> it's more than I've ever made in my life. Put me on. Ha. What shocked me was the next year, we did about $190,000 in sales. In really? Yes, sir. And year to date now, we're a little over 100K, and we're what? projected to do a quarter million this year. So how much did you do in revenue last month? Um, we did about 23,000. And how much did you make out of that? 
About 5,000. That's still not bad. That's not, yeah. not bad. Now are you running? Tell us about you. Tell us about your background. I'm an ex-college football player. Where'd you uh, play? I, I played linebacker in, uh, at, for UTEP, University of Texas, El Paso. Obviously, it didn't work out. I broke my arm my senior year, but I'm a dad, dad first, always. My wife and my son and I, you know, you spend the last four years chasing a dream. I remember I was training for these leagues and I was using a trash bag, just like I was saying. And I kept feeling embarrassed leaving the house using a trash bag. <laughs> so then I would go and I would get these reusable ones. Mind you, I just got out of college. I have no money. I keep spending $20 on these reusable suits that would rip on me every time I'm trying to do a pass rush move. So it would rip on me. And I remember I looked it up and I said, single use sauna suit, and it didn't exist. And I looked it up everywhere, looked it up everywhere. And I remember I turned to my wife, I said, I'm gonna start a company called Sweat Skins. And she was like, ugh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then it hit me, so ever since then, um, it's just been a, a, a serious grind. I've been trying to get my family back in the same house. I stay with a few friends, sleeping on the couches, doing the entrepreneurial thing. Um, they stay with my mother-in-law, and uh, I've just been grinding ever since. And uh, it's been a journey, um, but it's been great. You're making five grand a month. Why are you living in a separate house? Because I still do, I do owe debt. Tell us about the My debt. debt comes from my partner. Um, he, he, he kept giving us money to keep the inventory demand up. And how much have you raised? Well, he, okay, so he gave me $25,000 for equity. He owns 25%. He put a loan to the business for $100,000. $100,000? Correct. Why can't you live at home? Because I, I can't take a salary. I, I have a job now. So I, I had to get a job too much. No, that's ago. fine. That's yep. fine. That's fine. And it's away from home. It's Correct. not the same in, city. Yep, it's in Boston. They're in South oh, Carolina. God, there we Boston, go. Boston, so what are you doing in Boston? Yep, I work in cybersecurity. Boston is extremely expensive. Nothing against Boston, but I'm leaving there as soon as I can. Kale, I want to understand one thing. I see you here, and you have like this supreme self-confidence, but then you're telling me a story where other people would be defeated and depressed, but I feel like you're, maybe because on national TV, not showing us your struggles. Can you be very earnest about where you are today with this business what, and with your life? 100%. Um, and honestly, full transparency, I always told myself I'd never come on the Shark Tank and cry, but it's because I've been through worse. Uh, when I was 13 and 14, I lost both my parents. I had to find a way through football to get a scholarship. I have a little brother that I had to help take care of. Um, I've been through worse and I have a son. I'm a dad, so I can't, I can't fold. Like I can't, like I have to make him proud because my dad made me proud when he was an entrepreneur. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry, but like I, I have no other choice. Like I, I, own, I, I owe debt and I pay it back every month. I went and got a job because I didn't want to take from the business. Everything I put back was into the business. I don't like owing anything to anybody. I have a son that I want to pass this down to one day. I never thought I would create this business. It seems silly when you think about it. You think of it like a trash bag, but they say some of the craziest inventions that you come up with, come up with things that you've already done every single day. How much inventory do you have right now? Uh, about $35,000 worth. How much did you pay for the inventory? We bought $80,000 worth. Our cost is $4.17 per five pack. We sell it for $19.99. What is the minimum size order from the, the maker? $10,000 um, to get it to that cost of, of $0.55. Cents. It's $4.20 for five in a package, right? And that includes the packaging? Yep. Right, and so there's five of them, that's two seventy-five. So the packaging itself is a buck fifty. Right. For me, I don't see how there's room for an investor in this. For other investors, he's ahead of me on the cap table. I'm an equity investor, he's got the debt, he's first. I get it. I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thank you. Um, I guess to, to really answer that again, if I have the inventory, I will sell the inventory. There has never been a problem with me sitting on inventory. Last year, we sold out five times. How are you selling this right now? Only direct to consumer or in any stores? Only direct to consumer. So I think there's tons of merit to what you've done here. Sometimes you take the nugget of the simplest idea and you turn it into something that really can become something great. You're so honorable and so good. I love you. I just don't think that the product is the right fit with me. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate it. Daniel, what are you doing? I love you, man, because you're so honest. You're so honest and you're so real and you don't give up and you're hanging by a thread and you're just going for it. So I would love to give you a hand. I will give you the $60,000 and I'll do my best to give you a hand for your 20%. Thank you so much. Um, wow. Yeah. He just offered you exactly what you came in asking for. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk. If you were to send an order to somebody that didn't have the fancy bag, would they still be happy? 
I mean, there's a handsome guy on the back of there, but, um, <laughs> but not yes, really. But yes, they will. They will be. <laughs> happy not going to care, it. right? Correct. Right. So you can add almost 10 percent more, a dollar fifty more per unit. You sold 12,000 units, right? That's eighteen thousand dollars in your pocket. Right. If you don't use these, so now all of a sudden you're making money. So I'll do the deal. I, I can help you just with basic guidance, right? So I'll give you the the sixty grand for the twenty percent. Wow. What are you looking for? What do you need? Manufacturing and inventory, for sure. Well, you do have two offers. Damon, what are you doing? I think you need to consider the offers on the table. Yeah, for sure. I want to say I, I, I love the way you feel about me. I, I appreciate that passion and that um, it really made me tear up and I appreciate that. I'm glad that you see that in me and I'm glad all of you see that on me because I'm very hard on myself because I have to be that rock for my son. I can't let him see the struggles that I do go through. Um, but with that being said, uh, Mark, you got yourself a deal. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Good job, man. <laughs> get this done. Get this done. <sighs> yes, sir. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you, guys. I You're appreciate you. Thank you. Good luck, honey. Thank you so much. Do I help clean this up? Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. All right. I will get man. Yes, sir. He's so sweet. He's going to clean up. I've never seen an entrepreneur pick up his own trash. I know, right? <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Though I love Daniel and I loved his offer and I appreciate him, uh, I felt like Mark was more up my alley and I feel like I can expand more with having someone like Mark Cuban on board. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and click on that notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.